about uh, a very exciting uh, uh, you know topic so how does growth occur in humans it's important for uh, you to understand so even lay people if you understand how human growth occurs so you can actually bring your child uh, for uh, uh, for treatment to the doctor and even uh, this uh, video goes out to uh, you know budding doctors mbbs students and uh, to those who are doing md internal medicine and uh, not endocrine specialties so this is called the carlsberg icp model okay this is a graph which shows the growth velocity on the y axis and the age on the x axis okay so you can see that uh, when the child is born so you all know that the fastest phase of growth is actually when the child is inside the mother's womb that is in the uterus so usually about 50 cm of growth occurs in the uterus okay while the fetus is growing so it's out of the charts actually we start at year 0 when the child is born but the growth occurs in the uterus that's the maximum velocity of growth 50 cm in the zero at year of life that is the first year before the child is born okay the child is usually born after 40 weeks not exactly a year so but in 40 weeks 50 cm of growth occurs it's actually more than 50 cm per year and this growth is under the control of hormones like igf1 and maternal nutrition okay how much food the mother has okay and maternal health also the maternal health also if the mother is unhealthy the child will not grow and the placenta how the placenta is working so it, that determines how long or how big the child will be and of course genetics most important thing is the genetics of the child okay so now after the child is born in the first 2 years of life the growth velocity rapidly decelerates so in the first year of life the growth velocity is around 25 cm okay by the by the time the child reaches 2 years of age the growth velocity is down to 4 cm per year this is called the infancy phase of growth infancy phase of growth where the growth velocity is rapidly decelerating in the first year of life there is 25 cm of growth in the second year of life there is 12 cm of growth and then the child is down to 4 cm of growth after say 2 years or 3 years then the child grows at the same rate through the childhood okay this is called the childhood phase of growth where in every year the child gains only 4 to 5 cm so i can see that the growth velocity is the same it's about 5 cm 4 to 5 cm for a long duration between 2 and 12 years this is a chosen especially a boy who enters puberty at the age of 12 actually once the boy enters puberty so there is a growth spike again so it goes to a maximum of 10 to 12 cm per year okay so what is the hormonal control of these phases of growth so as you understood in the in the uterus uh in the uterus uh what is important is the genetics igf1 maternal nutrition and maternal health after the child is born in the first year nutrition still plays a major role if the child does not get proper food it will not grow nutrition plays a major role genetics again plays a major role genetics plays a role throughout the course of life genetics plays a major role then comes the role of growth hormone and thyroid hormone if growth hormone and thyroid hormone are deficient growth completely stops so if a child is born with uh, congenital hypothyroidism growth does not happen at all there is no thyroid function growth does not happen at all even in children with uh, growth hormone deficiency growth does not occur and the growth velocity is very less and the child is not growing at all and you recognize that there is no growth in the childhood phase what's become very apparent apparent is again that t4 growth hormone of course when it comes to the pubertal phase what is important the sex hormones are important testosterone since it's a boy testosterone testosterone is very important in this growth phase again gh and thyroid hormone are important okay so this is called the carlsberg icp growth model the infancy childhood puberty growth model so wherein the growth velocity of a human being changes and you also have to know that this the most important to the most popular question can i keep growing till i'm 24 the answer is that this is not ending to 4 cm it actually comes down and it stops here right so after about 17 years there is no growth there is no growth velocity the velocity becomes zero okay this velocity becomes zero in girls even as early as 13 or 14 years so please if you are say 20 years or 21 years don't think that you can actually grow because growth stops at some point so this is the this is about growth and the carlsberg icp model of growth thank you